I'm going to show you how to play Silent Night. Everybody needs to be able to play Silent Night when it gets close to the Christmas season. So here it is. The melody, I'm going to play it in the key of C. Now in the key of C, you're going to have three bass notes. A C, a G, and an F. So you're going to use these three bass notes. And you can use a chord for each one. But I'm not going to, at least originally. You can use a chord. A chord is just one, three, five on the note. That's a C chord, an F chord, and a G chord. Now, with that in mind, we're going to start off with a with the melody is G A G E G A G E D D B C C G A A C B A G A G E A A C B A G A G It's not as easy key to sing it in as if you started on a on a lower note, but it's an easier key to play it in, and it's easy to play the guitar because you've got a C chord and an F chord and a G chord. So um, that's the only thing. It does get up pretty high if you're singing. Now, when you put the bass note together, you're gonna you're gonna go C with a C with the beginning with the G C again C. Then you go to a G. G, back to C, up to F, C, back to F, C, up to G, with a C major chord. Once you've yeah, mastered no. this part with the individual bass notes, you can put a chord in there with each note. So you put a C chord in there. And if you arpeggiate it, if you break it up, you can make it or you can hit it straight. All you're doing is one three five on C and then one three five on G. One three five on F. Back to F, one three five. Now when you go to the A in the melody, you're gonna hit that A chord because it's part of the F chord, because it's part of the uh, F chord. Now I'm gonna go back and this time I'm gonna arpeggiate because you can with silent nights you can get it a little bit better each time as you start to get your dexterity with your fingers because all you've got to know is this your C chord your G chord and your F chord and there are ways to manipulate those to where where you don't have to move it but the easiest way to do it to see it is to move it and show the triad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the triad we call that an arpeggio and sometimes I'm going to hit the bass line and then hit the other two notes so here we go it'll depend on how it sounds make it sound good here when you get to the F chord you can walk the bass line up from the C to the F chord okay so if we if we start at the beginning we got C
just play that C chord, you can arpeggiate it as high as you want. When you get to the end. And when I say walking up to the F, you're just going C, D, E, F. And you don't have to. It. You, you can go... Um, up to F. You don't have to walk that at all. But that's an idea for Silent Night. And uh, you should be able to play it. Go to letternoteplayer.com and you can download the complete notes with the letters written out for them. I hope that helps you. And uh, let me know if there's another song that you want to be able to play.